Hiya guys, hello. So, well, I don't need to tell you how dark everything has been and distorted and insane and bizarre and can I think of other words for it probably, but whatever. And um, sort of last night, all day I felt really out of sorts and for anyone who's really doing their inner work they, they're gonna feel out of sorts that's just part of the course now um, but there was a, a video by Hugo Talks in my email cache when I looked into my yeah, email thing and I clicked on it I don't watch every single one of his videos. I tend to generally sense them energetically before I, because, you know, um, when people are not mystics, then, and people are not internalists, they tend to take everything at face value and just run with it. And um, this is very, very bad because they are literally just being used then. Uh, without even being aware of it and I think that was very much the case yesterday because I clicked on this link and it was a video all about the black goo now I've spoken about this many times it showed um, you know Miss Swedish Thunderbirds uh, and it was it's all very you know whatever it's it was very dark um, and before I knew it before I knew it a, a heavy dark evil energy had filled the room and that was after a few seconds of it literally it was like wow okay wow my teeth started hurting um it was appalling it was very very bad and this happens often nowadays um it could be that some person passes you and oh, you feel it instantly it's not always avoidable at all um, you have to literally yeah okay be in awareness defend yourself it, it is pure psychic attack there's no doubt about it but it did make me think about the whole graph O thing and A weird little article I saw in a newspaper a while back that stated that as long as the V rate was up to 70% in any given zone, 70%, um, the, the powers that be would be happy. And I find that interesting because it's 70% of the people, people, <laughs> give or take, that have no internal dialogue, monologue, awareness, i.e. aren't sentient, NPCs. And it seems that they must all receive the V, they must receive it. Now I know that it's all connected. I know that it is. Um, I've had many dreams and visions about the black goo these last few years. And I know that on the external plane, it represents the hell contagion. You know, um, when you meet the others, like I did, and I talked about in my last video, um, you meet beings, if you can call them that, who are entirely made of hell contagion energy. And it's interesting because I had a dream about that. And I saw what they actually look like because what you see with your naked eyes in your day-to-day -day life is not the truth. You're seeing a carefully crafted illusion. 
um, what these creatures actually look like. Um, the best way I could describe them, I suppose, is wraith-like. Um, I'm sure many of you have seen the film Beetlejuice. Well, they look a bit like Beetlejuice. Weird, frizzy, white hair. Um, deadly grey or white pallor. Um, but they're sort of semi-see-through. And they have these massive, like, saucers. Like, uh, like the headlights of a car. Their eyes are like glowing lights of a car that you meet in, at night on the road. And the car is oncoming. Like, and <clears throat> they are... Um, in Buddhism, you have an aspect of Buddhism of, of the wheel is the, um, the realm of the hungry ghosts. That is what these beings are. I call them feeders, because that is what they are. And when I came across these two old people that seemed so nice and innocuous, feeding the birds and proclaiming how much they love nature, and in fact I'm saying that, that is what their true form is. That is what they really look like. I've been showing this very, very clearly. I had this image in my head before I ever met them. Um, that day I fell for it because I've been so exhausted, this, this is part of it, this is why they're actively trying to stop us from getting a good night's sleep because when you're utterly exhausted you're, you're not going to fire on all cylinders, you're going to be far more um, vulnerable, you see. I'm just looking at some birds in fine, in, in, I think it's geese, V formation. They're leaving. <laughs> they don't need no no tests or anything. They can just go. <laughs> Bless them. I love geese. I guess this is just going to be a bit of a rambly one, guys, because um, as you know, and I've said this before, I I don't have the answers. And at this point, you know, the more you uncover, and the more is revealed, almost. The more discombobulated you feel, you, you know, because it what it does, it, it totally shreds your left brain notion of, of reality, of what you thought reality is and was, and, and what you thought you were actually immersed in and, and part of. You realize that all of that is complete nonsense, and it literally rips the rock from beneath your feet. It really, really does that because your shadow self holds on to that for dear life. It needs that certainty. It, it's like, no, no, this is reality and this is how it works. And this is what I know and I'm familiar with. Um, don't take it away from me. But it has to be taken away from us, guys. It has to be prized out of our ice-cold shadow fingers. It has to be. Because it's a lie. It is mundane reality trauma-based programming, guys. It's MK Ultra mundane reality programming. It is all a lie. I know the amount of people that have major issues with the idea that it's all fake, that it's energetic. <laughs> you know, um, the sign of Aquarius is Right, the, the electromagnetic uh, waves, the electromagnetic spectrum. All of this is fake. And more than ever before am I aware of what is going on within me, my, my inner the battle within, the battle lies within us, guys. It's that putrid hell contagion consciousness churning trying to stay in control and if you really stop and if you're in awareness and you know what i'm talking about you'll realize how that has affected you how that has sabotaged you your whole life how it has influenced you your whole life in every imaginable way your choices your reactions your behavior, your feelings, 
everything, all of it has been sabotaged, influenced, dis destroyed, and 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 and, and the rot that it, it, it that it is. And and then you look at the world out there, and you you see what is happening. You understand, as within, so without; as without, so within. The black goo is symbolic to me, very symbolic. And that little interesting piece I saw in the paper about 70%, they'll be happy with 70%. I am betting you that the vast majority of those having the are the bots, the people that do not daydream, the people that when they sleep never dream, the people that have no internal monologue or dialogue or anything at all, yet are such perfect simulacra of a real souled being, the living water. But they are anything but. Carefully crafted simulacra. Yes. And yet every time you meet one of them and strike up a conversation, it will be all about them. Always. You will not feel any warmth. You will not get any kind of empathy or curiosity. How are you? What are you doing? I am interested in you in a good way, you know? No. Uh, most of them are very narcissistic. A lot of them are victim narcissists. Or, you know, there's these altruistic type of narcissists or overt narcissists, covert narcissists, psychopaths. You know, their mother died the day before yesterday and they're in a pub going, oh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I came across... Um, you, there was some meme and it was on, on Facebook and I thought, yeah, it's very apt, you know. Don't be deceived by the clothes they wear, for we walk amongst beasts and walk amongst monsters. It's very, very true. And it's a hard truth. It's a very metallic truth, guys. <clears throat> Our eyes have to be opened to the truth of what the hell contagion creates. It is showing us exactly what we are in a war to defeat. What we are in a war with to defeat within our own consciousness. And after watching that really nasty predictive programming piece by Hugo that he does unwittingly, I know he means well, but these people, they don't go within and they're not mystics. So they don't get the, the bigger energetic electromagnetic implication of it at all. Um, they spread this stuff and it is spreading the black goo. That is actually what it's kind of doing. But as everything is always in the towel, I'm not too worried about it. It became a homotoxicological uh, little journey for me because boy oh boy my teeth started hurting in a particular place and I thought oh my god I'm developing an abscess and it put the fear into me in a big way which of course is a hell contagion. And I knew what I had to do and proceeded thus. You know you go into your heart, you let go and you choose self-love. This entire shit show now is designed to keep folding you in, folding you in, folding you in, distracting you, distracting you, <coughs> you know. And anyone who is actively allowing themselves to be distracted and to be folded in, um, and then perpetuating that like that, is allowing themselves to stay trapped, to keep trapped, to be in prison, you know, it's it's very difficult, I know, because evil is addictive. Watching these YouTube videos about how dark it is and how evil is always winning, which is basically, they don't say it out loud, but it, it is the, the, 
the current, the broadcast is that, oh, evil always wins, and look what evil's doing, and look how powerful it is, and oh, why don't you quake in your boots and get down on your knees and grovel and whine and, you know. When what we need to be doing, and I say this to myself as well, is to step back and let go. Step back and let go. Don't. If you feel this weird, addictive notion to, oh yeah, go and watch that, ooh, bad news, then, uh, uh no, that is your hell contagion. Those feeder creatures, they are like that. And I do come across people on Facebook too, quite often, which is why I find Facebook useful still. I see them. I see how they're drawn to the bad news, how they like, they like it. They love it. They are feeders. I see those glowy saucer eyes of theirs and I see their wispy true self. <laughs> and they love it. They love all the bad news. You see, they're addicted. We all have that in us, guys. It is the hell contagion. And the battle literally is you fight by not fighting. You literally disentangle yourself. You literally keep letting go. And that's one thing to do with, you know, that sort of stuff. Like people, places, YouTube videos, books, uh, whatever, whatever, all of that, all of that. But it's a whole different ball game when you're physically threatened with horrible things like I don't know, tooth abscesses or your hair falling out, liver cancer, I don't know, whatever, some horrible, nasty, evil thing. Because the left brain immediately slots back, the hell can take and immediately slots back in, telling you, see, this is all there is. The fear, drenching fear, it really brings it home to you, and this is why for those right in the center of it all, it becomes like that. It becomes very personal, very personal. It becomes a direct, imminent, foul threat that is a key. It doesn't feel like a key. It feels like what I've just said, but it is a key. It's a key that brings up the darkest of the dark from within you. <laughs> and then you have to choose to deal with it in a completely different way that you have dealt with things like that before, which was be an abject terror and go and see your doctor. I mean, I've been there before in the, in the last couple of uh, months, you know, go and see the doctor. No, I'm not going to see the doctor. It, I use homeopathy or I use other methods now and I, I totally, we, oh, it's, we have been mundane reality, MK Ultra, and mundane reality is an illusion. It is created by the hell contagion. There is absolutely no way that you, you would understand really what I'm talking about until you understand what I'm talking about. Some of you will get there soon, eventually, whatever, it's fine, don't worry about it. You know, it isn't real at all. The 70% are those wraith-like beings. That is what they are, that is their true image, their true form. They are feeders. And they are being injected with this black goo. That is what that is all about. That is why the powers that be, governments, whatever, are happy with 70%. As long as we have 70%, we're happy. It's very strange. I have no idea exactly what's going on. Um, but, you know, keeping my finger on the pulse knowing that this is an unfolding story. So if I get any comment from people saying, I know exactly what's going on and where this is going, then it's like, yeah, right, whatever. 
<clears throat> that would be a feeder then, you see. You get these people that narcissistically proclaim to know it all, and they don't, and you always find. But um, it is unfolding, it is unfolding. And one particular part of it keeps coming up more and more now. Again, it, it is a revisiting of, of a kind, because I was there years ago and spoke about it in my videos, but this is my earlier, much earlier videos. And it's the gin. The gin. When we talk, you know, when, when on the external plane we have people like, I don't know, Richard Dolan or John Mack, he was a nice guy, he died mysteriously. Uh -huh. um, we have John Keel, oh, there's so many people, so many people, you know, and they talk, uh, some of them talk about aliens, which is a really ridiculous word, and when they use that, that word, I tend to think, okay, you're controlled opposition, you're up to no good, there's uh, James Gilliland, uh, there's all kinds of shit going on. With, with regards to that and a great deal of muddying of the waters of course but you know what it all boils down to is the gin because you know I've been showing this over and over again ever since the fall we've been through so many different stories we, we've we've been here we've been there we've been absolutely everywhere we've we've you know but our true our true being who and what we truly are and once you know like we, we, it's been the memory of that has been has been taken away from us. But let's just suffice it to say that there was a war. Oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, beautiful. There was a war. And let's just say that the black gin and the red gin, red won this war, and imprisoned us in these forms to humiliate us, mock us and torture us. They hate us very much because they fell into a state of, well, they were, they were very, very much taken over, let's say, by the black goo, by the hell contagion. Whereas we were less so, the blue gin, the purple gin, the green gin, let's just say. And they imprisoned us here. Not all of us, but some of us. And we've been like this ever since, you know, living and dying and then coming back and living and dying and coming back and living and dying, you know, and whatnot. And being soul travellers, infinite creator beings, we have learned much from this. We weren't put here to, it's not a school, we didn't come here to learn, but we did learn because that is simply what we do. We've, you know because we have the maverick effect this is our magic guys it says well it's a it's it's this whole experience this quest which is so incredibly big there is no way you could ever put it into words when you were a jinn you never used words at all you don't what, what would you need stupid clunky language for you're a magical being you're a shapeshifter right it's all very left brain very you know is you know this is why our soul gets it. We carry the Akashic records within us and with that we know everything and we remember everything and it is coming back to us gradually, slowly, but gradually, but definitely. We can feel our infinite nature. We can see our true shapes well enough. Blue skins. I was blue skinned. My whole life that's been uh, a thing, you know, big thing. If you think about it, right, the, the stories, especially uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, they're very, very interesting stories, guys, very interesting. And all their gods, of course, are blue skinned. There's a lot of, there are many, many stories and many books and many this and many that. And oh, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Magic carpets, you know. Magic lamps, 
fairies, kami. Um, and of course, every fucking single religion started with a human being encountering an angel of the Lord. You know what I mean, right? It's, um, they've been everywhere and they, they have, you know, read the books by John Keel, read books by Rosemary Ellen Guiley and think carefully about your own high strangeness experiences and you will come to realise that what we're dealing with here is, is beings that are like we once were. I mean, well, it's all, it's all falling apart now, of course, in a big way. And it's interesting because Kevin Nine did a video where he talks about the rapture because he was thinking about that, pondering on that. And then I did a video talking about it because it keeps showing up on my YouTube f feed. You know, these, these born-again Christian channels that I would never subscribe to, ever. Um, and only clicked on one because I didn't realise that it was a born-again Christian thing. And the, the, the title of the video, which I don't remember what it was, was interesting to me. So I clicked on it, but it was some born-again Christian feeder going on about the rapture and that fits in with the whole 70% that fits in with the black goo that fits in with the absolutely it really just does I don't know how but I know that it does I also feel very strongly that this whole is a good thing it's good it's not an evil thing it's not a bad thing you I will post videos sometimes on um, on a Facebook page and a, cl a, a group that I'm a uh, a member of about what is going on with the whole V thing because I keep my eye my eye on that because it's of interest to me not because I'm there going oh, they're, they're injecting the children because you know I don't see it that way and a lot of people would get very agitated and say that I'm a really evil person but hey they're not sold they're bots they're 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 these weird creatures with these, you know, they're feeders, that's all they are. It'd be a very different kettle of fish if we have a sold child being... That would be horrific to me. Yes, of course. But for some reason I feel that isn't really happening. I feel that we, sold beings, as in the living waters, are protected. And we can greatly help ourselves, greatly help ourselves, when we are in awareness, when we are doing the inner work, and when we continue to disentangle, continue to unplug, and continue to let go of the insanity and the drama. You know, focus on the power of love. Instead of aligning yourself with the fear that is the hell contagion which is very rabid very passive aggressive very self-attacking self haty you know what i'm talking about choose love and sometimes you know these last mm, couple of weeks it has been very hard and it's been an ongoing battle that has literally it, it takes everything out of you it can get very pitched I know it's going to get crazier even. It it is becoming so insane now that there was um there's some footage I saw this morning of um people dressed like sheep crawling around on all fours in a sheep pen for for fun or a really fat woman who is actually a man visiting every single Witherspoon pub in Britain because she loves Witherspoon pubs even though she doesn't drink any alcohol now the Witherspoon pub is a corporate affair it's a piece of shit demonic sh evil filth 
um, I, I had a friend who used to work in one and well the things they put in their beer is some really weird shit going on there so they're evil and this is typical and, and I looked at the creature and it was a feeder of course and it had a weird thing on her forehead and it was a man pretending to be a woman and grotesque disgusting um, thing because they cannot you know the, 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 ugh. so that was going on and um, a friend of mine had to go to the shopping center to get something that he needed we, I mean he never goes into town unless he absolutely has to it's the same for me but you know sometimes it has to be done and he saw many strange scenes many strange scenes many people staggering and falling over a guy wildly gesticulating and talking to himself but and I said to him I said well I've seen that you know these people they just he goes no no he said there was something he's, he's an empath he knows he said it was all wrong it was weird it was people and when I say that I mean feeders are behaving very very strangely um he walked into Holland and Barrett which is a corporate uh, a corporate chain of shops that sells vitamins and stuff I mean one wouldn't touch him with a barge pole is bad but he goes in there to get his deodorant the woman just turned on him and gave him a vicious look with eyes that were just all wrong and hissed at him <laughs> right um this was in a town called Tavistock where I was, I happened to be there and I happened to sit in a chair and I was waiting for someone and I was just watching people go by. There was a guy who was young with a, a woman and children who his hair was all weird, in, he was bald but tufts of hair coming out here and, and there and he was all many people were just all like ur, ur. it 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 was like Shaun of the Dead I don't know how many of you have seen that movie but it's a zombie movie it's funny there's a girl in the garden <laughs> but yeah it was like that obese misshapen hideous monstrosities <laughs> and the guy with these weird tufts coming out and children with masks on and eerie distorted bizarre energetic oh this is all fucking wrong there are car crashes and car accidents everywhere everywhere ambulances stay in day out everywhere police cars everywhere And just a, a guy walking his dog and a dog with a mask in his mouth, like not on but in, like, Argh. and the guy was really obese and he was like, Argh, you know, like that. Um, it was just, I was just completely insane, completely mad and I had to write some stuff down. I mean, there was a, an earthquake supposedly in Melbourne. Now, you don't get earthquakes in Melbourne. This apparently shook houses and it was all very strange and alarmed people. Here we had a massive thunderstorm with great big flashes of lightning and houses shook, literally shook. Which is, well, whatever the fuck that is. Um, and on the tube... This was in a video by somebody, um, that a channel that I'm subscribed to. He was on the tube with his wife. And when you get on the tube in London, you get this announcement, mind the gap, which means there's a, a platform and then you get on the tube and there's a gap in between because apparently I mean, the bots are that dumb. They go, I'll, I'll stand in the gap and oops and whatever. You know, it happens, whatever. They need to be told how to behave, but now, it it's gone all mad it it's like um the announcement now mind the gap and then don't forget to tie your shoelaces please take off your scarves and hats we're still in summery weather here what the fuck um 
Um, comb your hair. It, you know, and, 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 wow. And it just, for some reason, just reminded me of the man in black. Because they need to be taught these things. Because they have major issues functioning here. I mean, you'll, you'll find a man in black sitting in a cafe trying to eat soup with a fork, you know. And they, they have serious issues with shoelaces. <laughs> um, you know, and it, it just reminds me of... A, a video that I watched once by Richard Dolan. Now I'm not saying that I, I am a Richard Dolan fan, I'm not, but I'm, I don't follow anything or anyone at all. I simply pay attention to what's happening in the field. But Richard Dolan did a video and it was very good because I've had similar experiences myself where this girl was going to university in London, but she was from Wales, and she, this was the weekend, and she's got on, got on a train to come and see her parents in Wales. And she's in the train compartment, and starts noticing that the people around her are not people. Their eyes are way bigger than normal people's eyes. Their skin looks odd, and their behaviour is strange. And the woman across from her says something along the lines of, don't worry dear, we're not going to harm you, just stay calm or something along those lines. And all kinds of weirdness ensued before they all disappear, poof, just like that. That's typical gin, you know. Um, I went to a demonstration in London a long time ago. This is a long, long time ago with a friend. And it was near Trafalgar Square and we were just stood there. She was having a chat with some guy and I'm just there. And there's this woman dressed in a little Chanel suit, looking perfectly normal and human, with a young man wearing a very looking, very expensive looking tailored navy suit. I have an eye for things like that, you know, you could tell they were well off, they were well healed. But there was just something about them. And I noticed them and they noticed me noticing them and they gave me this look and there was this weird thing like... And I, I to this day, I still think about it often and I, the, 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 the scene still, you know, very much there. They walk amongst us people. It's very much a situation like they live, the jinn, you know, they, they are shapeshifters. We also are shapeshifters, although we are currently not able to do this because we have been cast in these... in these forms. It is a prison, but it's all... We created ourselves through the, the hell contagion. It's insane. It's so crazy and I, I'm sure you can tell that I feel discombobulated. Um, but you know, I don't do these videos to give you all answers as to what's going on because it's entirely up to you to work that out for yourself and you know, I'm just doing these videos because well to let you all know that you're not alone. Here we are, trying to work it out, trying to make sense of it. And the only thing that really, really matters, I feel, is keep, it, it, it's always the same. It says, keep coming back, keep coming back to your heart. And of course, the left-brained, hell-contagion, infected consciousness, who the house was so... But I'm sure many of you have noticed. Have you noticed the pain in your heart center? A lot. And here, just a kind of... Oof, like, ooh. Um, many symptoms. Many symptoms, guys. You know, weird stabby pains in your head. Pains in your, your muscles and your bones and your... your, your teeth and your jaw and your gums 
nervous system, sweating, hot flushes, severe depression, anxiety, insomnia, and just a sense of foreboding, foreboding, foreboding. This sense of discombobulation that we feel, this kind of like, whoa, like I'm in a fugue state and I, whoa, I can't remember, and I, I whoa, uh, it, I feel very much part of the course. I really, really feel that. It's not a bad thing, it feels bad, I know, but it's, it's part of the course, guys. It's all falling into place. It, it, uh, this whole, yeah. No, oh, James. Oh, James is having a little snooze on the bed. Everything is happening according to how it must happen now. I, I really feel that. And the, the best thing that we can do is to keep coming back to our heart and to keep as much as we can relinquishing any kind of interaction with this world. There are things we have to do, we have to feed ourselves, we have to wash ourselves, we have to feed our animals, we have to do this, we have to do that. It's set up exactly like that in order to keep us continually engaging with it so that it can take our life force. We know this. This is the world of the feeders, that is what it is. And it's an, oh, it's an abhorrent abomination, no doubt about it. And it is torture, no doubt about it. But what are you going to do? You're going to go into the hate and the self-hate and language there? Or are you are going to choose to come home to yourself? Choose your heart space. Do what must be done, but do it with awareness. Because we have power, people, we really fucking do. It's all going to work out. Probably not today or tomorrow, <laughs> but it will. It's so difficult, though, and I know that we're all suffering terribly. I know that, and it's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly difficult. Some of us are really, really suffering. It's terrible. But we are exercising the hell contagion. That which was put into us in order to imprison us in mundane reality. The realm of the feeders. We are magical creator beings. We are a kind of, well, you know, shapeshifters. I mean, before the fall, a long, long time ago, before we ever decided to create form, shapes, colors, whatever, we existed in a state of just pure consciousness. And wow, I remember that. And it's pure bliss, you know, absolutely amazing. Like just like a sea of... Oh, I wish I could go there for a bit and have a break, but, you know. But, um... Consciousness wanted to experience all kinds, you see, and it's, well, that's why we find ourselves here now. We've been, oh, we've done so many things, we've been so many places, but it's now really, you know, hit, 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 it, it, it's, it's at this point where you think, okay, well, okay, we, we've, we've done this now, this duality thing, which is a really crappy word for it, actually. The time, this is the end time, the end, Omega, that is what it is. One thing I, I, do, I did feel like I had to say as well to myself and everybody else is this, do not feed the feeders. When you go through a hell of a lot of shit and you're emotionally, mentally, physically exhausted from working 
through your and alchemizing purging all the insanity of your trauma which is incredibly fast and extensive her ergo it gets all uh, insane with the pain you know what i mean right um it wears you out this then kind of gets you it can bite you in the ass because you're not in awareness as much as you should be as you need to be so that like me you fall for it with these fucking feeders they 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 look like ordinary people and they present themselves to us in such a way that they elicit our sympathy our empathy our compassion our generosity blah 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 or our hate our rage similar with this is it's not just the people but it's those youtube videos it's those truthers it's those gurus it's this it's that it's here it's there it's all of it it's all the same it's this the feeders the feeder you know it's everywhere because that is how this monstrosity totters on so whenever we can be in awareness and i say this to myself as well do not feed the feeders don't feed them don't interact with it anymore this this world is an abomination it's the feeder realm go within choose love and work through and keep doing the inner work keep doing the inner work no matter how tough it is keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it keep letting go and choosing love that is where it's at and that's what i'm going to be doing and all the bizarre insanity guys is a fucking good sign take heart let it encourage you it is a good thing don't worry about the v's don't get upset the only people that really get upset about it and oh we must demonstrate because they're feeding the children um they're feeders they're not they're not salt travelers man this just forget it let go of them and walk away unfriend them on facebook um you know people that perpetually spread fear porn are, f are feeders they're very clever simulacra and they may tell you that they are soul traveler but they're nothing of the kind eliminate 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 everything that is of the feeder realm because what i sense deeply is happening here ultimately now is the wheat is being sorted from the chaff so there has to be that it has to happen it is what sorts the wheat from the chaff boom that's it it's a good thing i really feel that you know because only the living waters will remain of course all souled beings will remain and everything else will be no more that is what this is all about to put it in a nutshell which it's because of the, 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 the presence of, of evil, it's always so much more complicated than that. And there are no words for it. It's very clever that way, <laughs> you know. But in a nutshell, that's what's happening, guys, you know. And it is how it must be. And I believe strongly that we are all living waters, soul beings, are protected, safeguarded. But it is an interactive thing, and so we must do our bit, you see. All is as it must be. All shall be as it must be. I do really believe that. So, we are the witnesses. We stand and we see. Oh, and I got smacked by it all, but you know, that's just part of the course, guys. All right. Oh, so that was all for today. I'm going to go now and have another cup of tea. All my love to all of you.